Hey guys, Anthony here with We Back Tesla, and We Back Tesla because if Tesla fails, the acceleration to a sustainable future fails, and we can't have that. So please consider subscribing, become a part of the solution, and when you make the awesome decision of purchasing your Tesla, you can use our referral link down below, get you some free supercharging. But that's enough of that, because today we've got. Uh, well, just let me show so you. It looks like we've got bit of a problem. I went on some of the Facebook groups and just asked where they recommend taking a Tesla to go get a nail. I'm assuming there's a nail, but where to take a Tesla to go get, go get it patched or figure out what's going on with the tire. And discount tire seems to be the place. I got a lot of recommendations for that. We're going to go see what it takes to get that tire fixed. So hopefully it's not too big of a deal. All right, so it's the end of the day and I did make a couple mistakes that hopefully this video is gonna help some of you guys not make the same mistakes, but I did get my tire fixed today. And I have two things that I, I, I wanna know your guys' opinion on. So hopefully you guys can help me out too. So what happened? Yesterday evening coming home from work, I noticed that the, the PSI on my left rear tire was a lot lower and I actually got a warning on the screen. Stopped by an air pump, filled it up, and stayed for most of the evening. Woke up in the morning with the intention to crawl it to discount tire. What I ended up doing was just going about a half a mile, driving really slow to an air pump here because it was at zero PSI. And that was my first mistake. I, I shouldn't have driven with zero PSI. I, I didn't really think this fully through. I did take it slow. And when I got there, I filled it up and I was able to get to discount tire, no problem. But when I arrived there, the first guy that talked to me, he right away said, I that tire shot, I'm gonna have to get a new tire. And so that, that started this whole fiasco of trying to figure out what to do because they didn't have this specific tire in stock. And these tires are brand new. I didn't want to get brand new tires for the whole car, for one random different tire. So I spent a little time trying to call Tesla roadside service. I had a couple options from them. One of them was they could bring me a loaner tire, which I, I didn't realize this. I should have researched this. Mobile service could have brought me a loaner tire to my house and threw that on and they would have taken the punctured tire and fixed it or gave me a new tire and we would have switched that out at a later date. Option two was to have it towed to the service center to get it fixed that day. So as I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do or how I was gonna do it, other tech who was working at Discount Tire at the moment came up to the car. He told me there was really no damage to the sidewall and that he didn't see any reason why we couldn't just patch it. So he went ahead and took the tire off and went and patched it and threw it back on. I ended up having a screw in the middle of the tread of the tire and he was able to patch it real easily. Stake number two is when he jacked up the car, I, I noticed he didn't have one of the pucks that you should use when you jack up a Tesla. And I don't have any of those. I've, my intention was to buy some and get them here. I just haven't done it. But he had the jack right where the puck would be. After the tire was done, I looked under there. And there's no sign of any damage. It, everything just looks the same. But I'm definitely gonna be ordering tonight some of those pucks so that if I have to jack up the car again, I have those and, and don't have to worry about that. So get those pucks, throw them in your trunk so that you have them when you need them. But yeah, so, since he patched the tire, everything looked fine. You can see a ring around the sidewall that's just a slightly different color because I did drive it when it was flat. I called Tesla service after it got patched to ask their opinion on whether or not I should just get this tire replaced. And they told me that it should be fine. At the very short distance I traveled and the really low rate of speed and, and looks of the tire, if the guy that patched it saw that the, there was no structural integrity uh, problems with the tire, that things should be fine and it wouldn't really be worth getting a new tire. That's where my first question for you guys is. Looking at the tire now after it's been patched, what do you guys think? Are any of you guys experienced with tires? If you saw this tire and knew the situation, what would you guys recommend? Because I'm still contemplating on just getting a new tire for that. I'm gonna let it ride for a few weeks. But yeah, I'd really appreciate the feedback. Two lessons learned. If you do get a flat in your garage, like you have a slow leak and you wake up and it's it's undrivable. Knowing what I know now, I would have just called Tesla roadside service and had them bring a loaner to me at my house. My mistake, the lesson to hopefully share with you guys who may encounter this. And then number two is get some of those hockey pucks. I'm, I'm gonna try to find a, a source and link it down below. I've seen videos on it, ways you can make your own using hockey pucks. And, and there's some out there that are pretty cheap that you can buy online too. So this discount tire was recommended to me by other Tesla owners. So maybe it was just this this one guy that, that he just jacked it up real quick and 
didn't know or maybe they don't have the pucks at the specific one i don't know before i could say anything it was already lifted and the tire was off so no damage was done but i would feel better using those pucks the other thing i need advice on you guys from is off topic my wife and i actually got some pictures done at a wedding we went to and i just want to know do you guys think that i ruined this picture because i think i did but that's really all i have for this video i hope that my mistakes and just my experience here help some of you guys out that might come across this i'm looking forward to your guys's advice on whether or not i should still just get it replaced or if you guys also think that the structural integrity is probably just fine with this tire and as all you guys who are subscribed know the purpose of this channel is to try to just give people a look into what life with an ev is like and hopefully get people to consider purchasing an ev for the next car we're here to answer any questions you guys have on the tesla model 3 standard range plus or just anything about evs in general and we really appreciate your guys' support in helping us spread the message. So seriously, if you're subscribed, thank you. If you're not, please consider it. If you drive an EV, thank you. And if you don't, seriously consider it. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you in the next one.